Can we do something that I'm, I'm this is a shout out to my sister because we used to watch cooking shows together like Food Network and all that. We lived in New York for a while together and we just sit and veg out on the TV. Uh, she just hates the, the bite. The, mm, I just made this and the, and the spoon point. Mm. Mm. Mm, that's good. My name is Mill Nabel. I'm a pastry chef. I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, I live here in Copenhagen. Today I'm gonna make a breakfast item that I like to make for the family. It's basically puff pastry filled with poached eggs. Then we're gonna top it with bacon gravy and a bit of herbs and cheddar cheese. I'm gonna call it a Copenhagen cup, if you will. Let's get cheesy with it. So this is puff pastry. I didn't make this puff pastry for today. It's just not feasible to do it at home. First step here, we're gonna make the Volovan cups. And I'm flouring the cutter so I don't pinch the edges. It's just a little thin guy. I've got my first puff rings here, popping them down. And put them towards the corners so that it keeps your paper down. My next piece of puff, because our top layer is thicker, when it starts to puff, it'll be like double or triple. The reason why I want that is because I want it to get, I want it to be a cup. Taking my smaller ring here, punching the center out of the triple layer puff. Uh, this is gonna be uh, the, what makes our cups. So once again, flour in the cutter. You see why it takes me 45 minutes to make breakfast in the morning. We're gonna build the cups now. I'm just taking a little bit of water on my finger and putting it around the edge. And let's take our ring here, place it on the top. And that's our cup. Best part about this dough is we can just roll this bad boy up, refreeze it, keep it for another project. Next step right into it is a little bit of egg wash. Now this isn't necessary, but it's necessary. We have rings here, volivants, egg wash, ready to go in the oven been uh, preheated to 200 degrees Celsius. The puff pastry, you want that, that oven shock, that spring. And we're gonna go about 10 minutes to start. It's gravy time, gravy train. The gravy's pretty simple. It's gonna be 250 grams of bacon. I'm gonna try not to stir it too much and let those bits kinda get stuck to the pot. We want all of that. During this time, I can chop my herbs. Chives, rosemary, thyme, and sage. Sweet. Uh, let's check on the bolivons. With these, I think we're ready. Nice golden brown color around the edges. A deep, dark golden on the top. We need it to be crispy to stand up to all those soft things that we put on the inside. Drain a little bit of fat from the bacon. So you just don't want it swimming. We're gonna add our mushrooms now. I'm gonna let those cook for just a little bit. 75 grams is good for me. Mushrooms semi-cooked now. Our chopped onion. Last thing's our garlic. One clove, and I don't wanna overcook the garlic. I don't wanna burn it. Now our garlic's been in there for just a little bit. Last bit here. We still got some of our bits stuck in there. That's gonna be perfect for when we toss in our butter. Butter right in. 40 grams. All the bits that were stuck to the pan are coming off now. Uh, this is 20 grams of flour. Give it a whisk. Basically want to add our liquid a little bit at a time. 300 grams of milk with 125 grams chicken stock. It's going to come up to a boil. And as that happens, the gravy is going to get thick. Uh, pretty much I'm cooking it out just so I don't taste flour anymore. Give it a stir every once in a while because it'll stick to the bottom and burn. And we're just trying to try to avoid that. We're almost there. Bacons, mushrooms, onions, everything we sauteed off before. We're just gonna dump it right in. Cool. We're poaching eggs now. Um, I brought a small pot of water to a uh, heavy simmer and I added just a bit of vinegar. The acid and the vinegar is gonna help the eggs uh, stay tight and make our poaching easy. I'm gonna crack it into a bowl. This way it's gonna be easier to pour the egg into the water. Gonna give the water a swirl. One, two minutes, depending on how you like your egg done. And that's our first egg. So we got a puff, bit of our gravy, puff down, bit of the gravy inside, eggs on top. 
Just a little bit more gravy. <laughs> you can tell why everybody else eats yogurt and granola in the morning. <laughs> Chives, sage, rosemary. Let's get that cheese on. That's it. Copenhagen cup, breakfast in an hour and 15 minutes, somewhere around there. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. <laughs>